the Pi Wizard, a front end application software that allows for easy setup for an emulation device. It specifically caters towards the XE4, the Game Hat, the Raspberry Pi 3, 3B Plus, and Raspberry Pi 4. Now, I'm not endorsing this product at all. I'm simply showcasing it for you. Um, but we've seen other products do something similar. We saw the Dreamcade Replay have a ROM downloader built in where it would go to archive.org and grab the ROMs for you and install them on an individual, on an individual basis. We've also had Team ZT work on a, um, a similar product to this that would also download entire ROM packs for you through something almost, which is even more so like this product here. Um, but this one not only does the packs, but it also allows for individual ROM downloads if you're on the pro version. Now, I think you should never pay for ROMs. And my understanding after talking with the Pi Wizard people is that it's primarily for um, paying for servers and paying for their time developing the actual scripts and again it is a donation model you can absolutely use this without donating um, just want to clarify that now we'll get a little bit more into that and again I'm not endorsing this I'm simply checking it out so you can see what it's all about and then you can make up your own decisions so here it is the piewizard.com and he makes it, you can go to their downloads. He makes a base image for uh, the Game Hat, the Odroid XU4, and the Raspberry Pi 4, and then the Raspberry Pi 3 and 3B+. Plus. What you want to do is go ahead and download the image file to burn the image to get started. He also has a, a lot of you know useful resources as far as getting started, but I'll show you how to do it in this video. Now, as far as pro versus non-pro, the big two differences is you get the single ROM download feature where you can download individual ROMs, and then you get the artwork and the video snaps included when you go with the pro. Now, this is where it gets a little controversial because people are like, why would I pay for ROMs? And that's not what you're actually paying for. You're paying him for the scripts, the updates, getting it all uh, you know, updated to make sure it's still working. And uh, they mentioned they're, they're spending you know, close to $100 a month just on server space. Now, um, what are they asking for? For six months, five to ten dollars. So while that sounds controversial, you know, for ten dollars, that's less than a dollar a month. You're paying them to keep the servers up, run you new scripts. An example of this when I was making the video is I mentioned to him that the background music script, although it stops it, it was always in a permanent fix that I've seen on other images. And he went ahead and fixed it throughout the update, and the next thing you know, it was fixed. Single ROM downloader area. And that's pretty much the majority of your member area. It looks like there's also a way to request a game if a game is not currently listed here. You can see, for example, when you go to MAME over here, somebody had a special request for Killer Instinct. You know, you go on Dreamcast, nothing. I think N64 though, people, he manually added Monopoly and Wheel of Fortune. Okay, so we went to downloads. We downloaded the Pi 4 US download. So I have it on my computer. I have 7-zip though. I have 7-zip, I extracted it to its own folder. And then here it is as a disk image file. The next steps are pretty simple. I would just go ahead and go to my Win32, or you can use Etcher. And you wanna go ahead and get your micro SD card, put it in your computer. I just went ahead and inserted mine. You can see it's already flashed, but all I did was I you know, went over here, went into my Pi 4, clicked on the image file, make sure you have your device, make sure you format it before this, and then go ahead and hit write. When it's done writing, you can go ahead and pull it out of your computer and put it into your Raspberry Pi. So this is when I first installed it and I was on the non-pro version. And as you see here, it updates and it updates your Pi image and everything and it updates the wizard itself, the application. And I went ahead and just downloaded the SNES Classic pack because I knew that would only be about 20 games. Those were the games that came with that mini SNES Classic. And then I rebooted my Pi. And then as you saw from the previous screen, now my Pi had SNES Classic on the main RetroPie emulation station menu. <laughs> So 
So here's the single ROM download. You just select a system here. So you can only do up to five games for PlayStation at a time. But like NES, you could do a lot more. And so for those of you that just want like a 32 gigabyte image, this is really easy to do. The only um, system I was talking to him about was the arcade set, set the ROMs aren't quite fixed yet, but like this is Mortal Kombat 2. This is Mortal Kombat, Mortal Kombat 3, um, you know, Mr. Driller, Metal Slugs. So, um, where all the consoles, though, it's easy to do all that. You even have Dreamcast over here. Nice. PSP. Some good pinball games for PSP. So, um, you can only do one system at a time, though. So, you go here. You select the ROMs you want, you press download, you then go to your Raspberry Pi, and then you go ahead and download them. You have to go back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. So it takes a little bit of time, but um, really easy to do. When you go back to your Raspberry Pi, now that you've set up your single ROM downloader on the website, you can just go ahead and click the get single ROMs, and it'll just download them. Again, you have to do one at a time, one system at a time, and some systems are limited because they time out while they're downloading. But as you see, if you don't want to use a single ROM downloader, downloader, you can absolutely download these entire packs. And as you see here, there's lots and lots of systems and lots and lots of games. And in the upper right corner, you can see how much each collection is in total. If you don't have that much space, you could just do the single ROM downloader. When you're done, don't forget to reboot your... All right, All right and then now we have our Super Nintendo Classic Edition we downloaded. We have the two ROMs we downloaded from the single ROM download. And you can see we have video snaps now because it's the pro version, which includes snaps. Now if we go back, Nintendo, we downloaded back when we had the pro version. So we're gonna have all this stuff. So in conclusion, pretty cool. As I mentioned, Dreamcade Replay did something similar where they would grab the ROMs from archive.org and then you know just get the right artwork uh, set up. Um, similar idea. Um, again, I'm not endorsing this product at all. I'm actually probably not gonna be using it for that much longer um, just because I have my own images set up with my own configurations and things like that. I simply wanted to showcase it and check out what uh, this group was doing with their script. And I have to say for what it is, it does exactly as advertised. I see the biggest um, people interested in this are gonna be those that have a uh, small SD card and wanna be selective, or those that just don't really know a lot about building an image and getting it all set up. There still is some you know, barrier to entry here, like somebody has to know how to get an SD card, format it, burn the image and get boot up a pie, set your controls. Um, but I, you know, honestly, that's pretty simple. If you're watching my videos, you're like, that's really basic stuff, but you would be surprised. Um, so I really think that that's where this is applied to, but some of you out there might just like the idea. It's novel. You like that. Um, it's got, you know, a one-stop shop for everything. So there's a couple, you know, pros and cons to all of this. So um, pretty cool. It was nice checking it out. That's what I think. Let me know what you all think. Don't forget to like and subscribe and we'll catch you on the next one.